What's going on YouTube, Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys a life orb for alligator team for Regulation F. Now, for alligator is the Gen 2 final evolution of the starter, or I should say water starter, and it looks absolutely amazing. It's an alligator standing on its back two legs, and it just looks like an absolute menace. This Pokemon has access to Dragon Dance, making it go plus one on speed and plus one on attack every time we use that move. And once you use that move, you're pretty much set up from there. You can outspeed Pokemon, and at the same time, you're hitting like a truck with the Life Orb on top of that. This Pokemon got Liquidation for Stab, Ice Punch, and Crunch for our coverage moves. Got the Water Terror type to help boost water damage, and its ability is Torrent. Now, it does have access to the hidden ability Sheer Force, and that ability I'd rather have on this for Alligator, but hey, Torrent should be fine. We should be able to rock out with it and do some work with this Pokemon. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Raging Bolt. Now, we already showcased Raging Bolt and kind of proved it is top tier in the meta. It's got Choice Scarf, it's got Photosynthesis, and it's Rocket Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, Draco Meteor, and Terra Blast with a Stellar Terra type. We also got the Sneasler and Rillaboom combo on today's team. Very solid lead, very solid Pokemon just to pair up together. And then we got Tornadus for support. Final Pokemon on today's team is Incineroar. Now everything is looking good for this Incineroar besides its ability. Obviously, if you guys look, it does not have Intimidate. And Intimidate is one of the best abilities in the game. I'm kind of upset at that, but hey, what are you going to do? Maybe we just won't even use Incineroar today, considering this is a Feraligator video. If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. But without further ado, let's go hop into match number one. Loading into our first match, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. It goes by the name of George over on Twitter. Huge shout out to him. We'll be linking his channel or page down in the description below alongside with the Poke page. So if you guys want to check out the team more in depth, check out stats. Like I said, head down in the description below. You will find all the information there. But we're going up against a Blossom Sun team. Loving it. Blossom Sun team coming out here in match number one. Looking so dope. They got Ogre Pond, like we already mentioned, Blossom, Torkoal to set the sun. Grimstarl, Azumarill, and Golden Go. So I want to leave for Alligator here. I want to get ripping with this book one. I really like it. So I'm going to go for Alligator. And on top of that, I am just going to go Incineroar. I wish I had Rain Dance on Tornadus, but this Tornadus does not have Rain Dance. It would be so good to have Rain Dance here, but I really like what we have here. So I'm going to go Incineroar. I'm going to go for Alligator. I could fake out. I could potentially set up all this good stuff, but kind of annoyed that I do not have Intimidate here. It's all good. On top of that, we could go in with Raging Bolt, Pokemon that I really like, and in the back end, we could go Sneasler. Just Sneasler by itself. Hmm. Maybe instead of Incineroar, we just lead Rillaboom. Just so we get that grassy terrain out there, and then we bring Raging Bolt alongside with Sneasler. That's something I kind of like a bit more, so I'm digging that. I'm definitely digging that. I don't think they have any Pokemon that can set up Trick Room, but, but, but Blossom is going to be the main threat in the sun. Well, they could end up just leading, right? They could end up just leading Blossom and and Torkoal, which would kind of be a problem because I have no Terror type on my Frog Gear that can like switch us away from water because we just have the Water Terror type. All right, so they're gonna end up leading Torkoal and Grimmigrim. Torkoal and Grimmigrim come out here. Um, I think this is a solid turn for us just to just uh, fake out the Torkoal and maybe go into a D Dance here. Right? Fake out the Torkoal, D-Dance up. I'm cool with that. We don't have Fake Out on you? Oh my lord. This. Oh my lord. I'm just gonna knock off the Torkoal. I'm just gonna knock off the Torkoal here. So we D-Dance up. We do not have Fake Out, which kinda sucks. And we're gonna go for a knockoff over onto the Torkoal. The knockoff flies through, doing a little bit of damage, and is this thing erupting? Get rid of its heat rock, so it does nothing. He sets up a stealth rock, cool. Okay, so fake out really wouldn't have done anything. We want to set up stealth rocks more so than anything. So screens, all that good stuff is here. Um, I think I might still terrestrialize in the water here. Just to do as much damage as I can to that. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm also just gonna U-turn into the rolling slot. I like that. I like that a lot. So, Terrasalize in the Fry Alligator, looking to do as much damage as we can. I understand we're in the sun, but with the attack boost and the uh, terror boost, we should still be able to do a nice chunk of damage over onto this Torkoal. 
Get it, Feral Gator. Get it, my dude. The Light Screen now flies. You also have Reflect Up. Kind of annoying. And we're just going to get after it with Liquidation. Mullen Liquidation. How much damage am I doing? Oh, beautiful. Was that a crit? Or no crit? It was a crit. Yo, for Ralligator getting after it early on here in match number one. Let's go. So for Ralligator, big time turn for it for us. We're now just going to U-turn pivot out of here. And that was a solid turn for us to just bring out Sneasler, right? Sneasler coming out here. I get they have Stealth Rocks. It's all good. We're going to pop the Grassy Seed. And we're going to go Unburden on this thing. So I'll have Raging Bolt for late game with the Choice Scarf. We'll also have a Rillaboom. I like it a lot. So there's my Sneezy. Sneezy getting after me. Give me that defense boost, baby. Love it. So for Alligator getting a monster big time crit onto the Torkoal. We love it. We're able to bring out Sneasel in the terrain as well. And we get back some HP. Awesome. Everybody gets HP. You get HP. You get HP. You get HP. Everybody gets HP. So I wonder who they're going to bring out here. Maybe Blossom, right? And it is going to be Blossom. And I think from here, maybe... We just... Oh, I wish I had Protect on this thing. This thing is going to be Chlorophyll. But you got Unburden. You might be able to outspeed that Blossom with Unburden. You're fast to begin with. I hope you outspeed. Because I would love to just drop an Acrobatics. On top of that, just double down on this thing, right? Hey, you know what? Acrobatics? Ooh, what would actually do more? Dire Claw or Acrobatics? Dire Claw is Stab, so it's 80 times 2 plus super effective. But Acrobatics is doubled, but it's not stabbed. So yeah, Dire Claw should do more. So I'm just going to go into a Dire Claw here. We're going to double down into Blossom with Ice Punch. And he's just going to go for a Sucker Punch here. Doing a nice little chunk of damage. Dire Claw does outspeed, which is beautiful. And we get rid of Blossom through the Reflect. Get it on out my face. Get it on out my face. Ice Punch is going to slide over. I kind of wish I used Liquidation at that point. And we're going to do solid damage. We're hitting hard. We're hitting hard, even through the Reflects and Light Streams beautiful so for i'll get a rip in here in match number one same thing with sneezer coming in the back end and now it's just a 2v1 now it's just a 2v1 so out comes their final pokemon and it's gonna be azumarill and i'm chilling with that i know they still have terror type but come on we got roboom in the back end we got roboom chilling there so i'm just gonna go close mm, maybe dire claw yeah dire claw into that slot and then I will pop Liquidation into the Grimstrong slot. And that should pretty much wrap it up. Unless they choose to Terrasalize here. Which I think they would do, right? Is Jumeril going to Terrasalize? Maybe straight water? Just to get away from the fairy typing? Yep, here it is. Here we go. Terror type on Grimstrong. A little odd. A little odd. And he's going to go straight dark. So I guess that's just so we can get uh, more damage off with Sucker Punch. Makes sense, but it's not going to be able to KO me, which is great. The Sucker Punch coming out here again. We soaked that up all day. For Alligator says, yo, that's a tasty snack. And now I'm attacking. Now I'm a Dire Claw. Blue Reflect. KO win again. And we get a crit, yo. Crits are going crazy right now. They're going crazy now. Two big time crits for us. And then Liquidation should be able just to finish this one off, right? Later, my guy. Later. Get it on out of here. So Dragon Dance for Alligator. Rocking out match number one. Picking up two big time KOs even in the sun. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Looking to go 2 0. Looking to go back to back here in match number two. Azumarill, Fluttermane, Iron Hands, Rule Edge, Golden Go, and Annihilate. So, pretty solid team. Very solid Pokemon all around. I am always worried about Annihilate. That's a Pokemon that always just poses such a huge threat. But I really like Feraligator here and wouldn't mind setting up Dragon. So, I could go there and I could also go in with a fake out user such as Incineroar. Could always work well. Unless they go into two ghost types, right? To Rule Edge. Golden Go or Annihilate. Or Fluttermate. You got four ghost types. Maybe Fake Out isn't our play. But if they lead Iron Hands. But I mean, if not, we have a dark move. We have knockoff. I'm cool with you. I'm cool with you. We're gonna go Instant War. We're gonna go Frogator. We do not have Intimidate, which kinda hurts the soul, but we'll deal with it. We will definitely deal with it. In the back end, do we go Roll Boom and Sneasler again? The combo just works so well. Or I can go Raging Bolt and alongside with maybe just Roboom on its own. Roboom's got the best. He's got a decent move set here. In the grass training can hit rather hard. So I, I can kind of get down with that. I kind of get down with Roboom on its own. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves another win here. Another win. Another win here with Feraligator. <laughs> 
But um, I want to try to set up Dragon Dance again. I want to try to do that again. We were hitting through Reflex really hard, to be honest, last match. We got lucky with a crit on the Torkoal, which was massive. But um, yeah, I would love to do it. They end up double leading. Double leading the ghosts, just as I suspected. So the double lead of the ghosts, um, we are just going to go into a Dragon Dance here. I like it a lot because Shrudge could just protect. And on top of that, do we fake out this or not, knock off the Shrudge or do we knock off the Fluttermane? Fluttermane probably has a decent lead. Hmm. Now, for Alligator, what's your speed, real quick? That's my question. What is your speed? 130. You might not. I don't think you outspeed Fluttermane after this. Huh. I'm still just gonna knock off the Flutter main item. He's gonna go for a calm mine here, so that's looking terrifying. The good thing we're setting up here as well. So it gets that special attack boost alongside with the special defense boost. Dragon Dance is gonna fly through here. We're gonna start boosting up our speed. We're boosting our speed up. I wonder what Swirl Edge is going for here, though. What you got, Swirl Edge? Oh, hey, yo, knock it off! That's enough. That's enough. That's enough out of you guys. Knock off coming hot here. Doing some- oh, that's some beautiful damage. That's some beautiful damage. That is some- that's some big time damage. From here, I could Terrasilize. I think I'm just gonna go into Crunch here. But honestly, Terrasilize water damage, or I can just stay here and just attack. So I'm gonna attack, and I'm just gonna go for another knockoff here, just to finish off the Fluttermane. Liquidation comes through here. We now outspeed, which is gorgeous. And we just dump on Screw Edge. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. This Fluttermane's definitely no scary being plus two. But Dragon Ant's helping us outspeed. Helping us outspeed. Moonblast's gonna come through here. Go after Incineroar. And we're soaking pretty well. Not bad. Now, Incineroar's just gonna finish this thing off. So, for Alligator and Incineroar, get work done early on here. Lovely. 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 Good thing my Feraligator actually outsped the uh, Fluttermane. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because he was going after my Incineroar. But everything works out perfectly. Golden Go comes out here next. I might party shot here, but... We'll see. I could. I should. Maybe I should. Maybe I should because you're probably just going to... You're probably just going to attack. Hmm. I'm going to save my Stellar Terror type for sure. I'm going to save that for the Raging Bolt, but I think from here, we just want to kind of throw a crunch this way. And then just parting shot into the uh, into the Iron Hands, right? Just want to start lowering that attack. Now, Crunch is going to fly, and dude, Bro Alligator's killing it today. He's one shot and left and right. He's one shot and left and right. Life Orb with Dragon Hands plus one is just ripping. Now, we're just going to parting shot into probably my... What's it called? My Raging Bolt, because I can just Stellar Terror type. And I can rip it with Terror Blast, which I love, which I love. We could. Or I could just go drink a Meteor. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chance Target goes for a Wild Charge into Frogator. Probably going to KO me, right? And then you just go for Thunderbolt, so that's kind of odd. And we're able to soak that because that's a special attacking move. I think our opponent doesn't have a built team now that I think about it, right? Now that I think about it, it's not looking too hot for them. It's not looking too hot for them. We could go for our Terra... Uh, blast with stellar terror type, but I'm just gonna go with a Draco meteor here. But yeah, now that I think about it, this opponent's team's not fully built EV wise, so we'll take this win. For alligator still hitting like a truck. Match number one, we showcase it. Match number two, hopefully in the third match we get a solid opponent. We have a great battle all around. But Raging Bolt puts on its stellar crown, and Draco meteor's gonna fly, which probably KOs if it's not EV invested or anything like that. No, it brings it down to one. Are you sashed, or are you just super lucky? No, you're just super lucky. So it lives on one for alligator, puts finishing touches on this thing, and uh, that's GG's. Final match on its way. Like I said in the last match, we uh, we went up against a team with no EVs, not really invested. But this team right here, looking like a strong team, probably EV invested. Cannot wait to showcase this team yet again. A little bit of for alligator action, but it's a sun team. And Sun Team is really going to pose a threat to us because they can just set the sun no problem. And then we have no weather control and it's going to be tough. So, like I said, it's going to be tough. They got Nine Tails, Venusaur, Double in Speed in the Sun, Chiyu, who's a monster in the sun. Alongside with Wimbledon, Walking Wake, and... Uh, what is that, Pokemon? 
and uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I can't even think of the name. Tornadas and Tornadas. Not Tornadas, Landers. Oh my god, can't think of it. But I'm a lead Tornadas at this point, making them think I have Rain Dance, even though I don't have Rain Dance. And we're also going to bring in Incineroar. Could lead Incineroar. Actually, we're going to go for Frogator. I like Frogator. Actually, you think of Venusaur, that's just a problem. We're going to go Incineroar. We'll bring Frogator in the back end, and last but not least, Raging Bolt with the Choice Scarf could be solid. So I'm going to throw out the Tornadas, I'm going to make them think I have Rain Dance, and we're kind of going to go from there. Because <clears throat> if they lead Ninetales, they could potentially just hard swap Ninetales, seeing my Tornadas on the field, thinking I'm going to pop a Rain Dance. But guess what, guys? We don't got it. We're not doing it. <laughs> we're not doing it. So that's that's another change I would like to make for this team. The two abilities on Incineroar and Frogator. Throw Rain Dance on this Pokemon. Because having weather control is just so massive. But they end up going into Whimsicott and Walking Weight. And Whimsicott could pop Sunny Day at any time. It's not that bad. And I think from here we just go Bleak Wind Storm maybe. And we might just want to Thrasilize you. No, not in Straight Fire. I was going to say, if they pop Sunny Day, it could just be a big threat. But I'm just going to go Fake Out in this slot. I'm going to just Bleak Wind Storm across the board. I'm going to Fake Out the Walking Wake. We'll see what Whimsicott wants to do. This Bleak Wind Storm's cooking. And it's just going to do some nice damage. Did we get any Speed Drops? Any speed drops? Hopefully on the walking wake. Speed drops? No, we don't get speed drops around here. So Moonblast flies through here and walking wake flinches. The walking wake with the flinch, they probably are going to set up the sun. To be honest, now wouldn't it be a bad turn to maybe swap into a Pokemon? And reset my fake out? As long as we don't miss our shot, right? As long as we don't miss our shot. I don't know if if uh, Bleak Wind Storm will KO that thing. I definitely want to go for this. Bleak Wind Storm. I'm definitely going to go for a party shot. Let's see. Tailwind comes out here from Scott, so no sun. They're just setting up the Tailwind. No problem. Hydra seems going to come through here. And he's going to go after my Tornadus, which is awesome because I'm able to soak that. And he's going to lose some HP due to that. Life Orb and... This is just going to pick up the double KO. <clears throat> so yeah, I knew it was a good turn to actually swap for us. We should have just swapped. We should have swapped into Raging Bolt or something. Raging Bolt would have been great. So they set up the Tailwind. We're forced to pretty much set up the Tailwind next turn. And if I had to guess, they're going straight weather, right? They're probably going Nine Tails, Venusaur. And you know what's crazy? Oh, no, no, Chiyu and who? Wait a minute. Chiyu Venusaur maybe? Wow, they don't get sun off. They don't get the sun. They don't get the sun, which is actually great for us. But it's kind of crazy that they... What's it called? It's kind of crazy. If we had Rain Dance and say they brought out the sun, I, I would have been able just to pop Rain Dance and uh, cancel out Weather Control for the rest of the match. But from here, to be honest, I'm just going to pop a Flare Blitz into the Venusaur. And I'm going to set up a Tailwind. So we're going to master Tailwind Energy. They're probably going to outspeed me. And yeah, Chiyu's going to be able to go first. And he's going to be able to take out Tornadus. Now, Incineroar should be able to outspeed Venusaur. Which is pretty big for us, right? Pretty big for us. Incineroar's eating a berry, even though you can't see him on the screen. And he's going to go up to about a little bit more than half HP. Venusaur does outspeed. And guess what, guys? We're dodging the sleep patterns. So big. So big for us. Flare Blitz comes out here and it leaves you on one. Are you sashed? No, you're just super lucky? Come on, man. <laughs> one HP bandits? Get on out my face with that. Get on out my face. Um, Could go for alligator here. I could. I could definitely go for alligator here. But better options would maybe be Raging Bolt with the Choice Scarf. And yeah, I think that's 100% our play. Raging Bolt's got to come out here. Raging Bolt's got to come out here. We showcase for alligator enough. We're looking to win this match. We are looking to win this match. So actually, I'm going to full switch to pick up the KO here. And I'm just going to go for a knockoff take off your item. I'm with that. I probably should have party shot. Double swap moves. Would have been nice. But Volt Switch going to pivot out of here. Venusaur is a goner. I cannot believe they didn't set up Sun. Just blows my mind. Blows my mind. So we get the reset our choice scarf. We get to pick up a KO. And on top of that, I get to bring out the Gator. The Gator of Feralis. Feraligator. My man. Shiny Feraligator with that nice little cotton candy blue. Heatwave's gonna fly, and Incineroar's dodging. And Frogator should be able to soak. 
I guess that's a soak. That, that actually did a good chunk of damage. That really did. And we get up. Oh, that's why I did a good chunk of damage. It's choice specs. Now I go liquidation. I go for a parting shot here. And that should pretty much wrap this one up, right? Heat wave for alligator should be able to soak. Thanks to knocking off the choice specs. And liquidation for the win with the life orb. My man, yo. For alligator hitting like a truck in today's video. 3 0, perfect record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, for Ralligator in Regulation F. Absolutely love this team and absolutely love showcasing for Ralligator. Give it a Life Orb, give it Dragon Dance. This thing's hit like a truck, and it was one tap in pretty much every single Pokemon it hit. We had a Sneasler and Rillaboom combo that always works well, and then we had Instant War Tornadus and Choice Scarf Rage Bolt, who is such a solid back end Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.